We are at Hershey Lodge. Hershey Lodge. This is a room tour of the single king room 5811. Meaning that it's number, room number 811 on the fifth floor of the lodge. It's already open, so of course it's not going to unlock. As soon as you walk in to your right, you'll find a very spacious closet, complete with iron and ironing board, shelving, curtain rod, which is home to several hangers. pocket for your items that you might want to hang up, like your wallet, that sort of thing. I didn't see a room safe in here, but you could probably stick a few items in there. I'm sure there's really no criminal activity here. You have an ottoman to sit on or put your feet up, or to sit and put on your shoes, possibly. There's me. <laughs> uh, adequate storage for just me. Oh, there's my refrigerator and uh, cafe valet, coffee maker. Didn't know that was involved. Uh, ability to do a contest. Um, free Wi-Fi is included. LG flat screen television. Ah, there's the safe and some drawers. I guess I should have opened it up before I started the tour. Uh, there's my bags and belongings, just staying for the night. Uh, there's a work area here, a desktop, which I'll be using later. Uh, complete with mirrors to make it, I suppose, a vanity for the ladies. Um, this place is a little dated. We got a pop-up outlet here, which also, I don't know if you can see that, it says iPod, <laughs> which is outdated for one of the older type iPods that was iPhone 4 and before. Also, we have a table lamp here, complete with switch, and additional outlets. There's plenty of power outlets in here. That makes four on the desktop. So if you got a laptop, a couple chargers going, maybe a GoPro or camera. Uh, not much of a view from this room, just a little bit of the parking lot. I understand there are some Lakeview rooms with their premium. However, there is... Uh, the window's wet. Doesn't appear that you can see what I see, but there are some rolling hills back there in the background. And I suppose in the wintertime, that would be beautiful for us. A nice sitting area, lounge chair, footstool. Neither of these footstools has storage, by the way. They're simply for resting on. Phone, the directory, on room calls, local calls, that sort of thing. You got concierge, dining reservations, uh, room service, all that kind of good stuff. Hotel, spa, golf club, recreation. And the Gideon Bible, very chocolatey looking. <laughs> Everything in here seems to be some shade of brown, which is fine by me, I'm an earth tone guy. But uh, some people wouldn't like the golden brown. Oh, there's a fly in the mix. Ah, we have the bedding here, complete with a Hershey's Kiss pattern. I'm going to see just how comfy that is later. Ah, we have some reading lights here. Ah, yeah, that would go good. I can sit right there and record myself reading the Will of Time. Some comfy pillows. Those wouldn't be enough pillows for my wife, but... That'll be more than adequate for me. Well, we got an alarm clock, so we won't be late to breakfast, which is complimentary as well in the morning. Uh, hopefully I don't hit that snooze too many times. Uh, another desk lamp, drawer, 
cabinet, lots of space. I might put my shoes and my bags there just to keep from being cluttered. There seems to be some space underneath here. So maybe slide a smaller suitcase. Uh, another wall outlet. Some decorative artwork. A York peppermint patty and a Hershey bar in the water there. Is that what that is? Maybe you can tell me in the comments if that's what I'm seeing, right? Candy underneath the water. And there's Reese as well. Maybe it's painted on those rocks. Perhaps that is this art. It's a picture of some art. Oh, and this has got to be some sort of s'mores because I'm looking at marshmallows and chocolate and graham cracker rocks is what it looks like to me. But perhaps I'm mistaken. Let me know down in the comments what you think it is. Yeah, some temperature control going on in here. And uh, of course the little window unit is over there as well. I'm not sure how that, if this was an upgrade later on or if this controls that. But you know what? I can find out right now. Let's see if we can turn it on. Oh yeah, this is the remote, it was a wall remote for that over there. Let me turn it off. And maybe in a second, yes, it went off. All right, and now the piece de resistance, the bathroom facilities. We do have emergency route procedures for getting out of here. Light switch. It might be a little noisy in here. I don't think I can turn this fan off. It seems to run constantly. We have some facial soap. Cocoa infusion. Soft sense. Uh, Angel soft, I'm sorry. Angel soft tissues. A couple of cups for washing after teeth brushing. We have some more facial soap and some body soap here. Um, I actually was in here a second ago and I smell those. Uh, they're not, they don't smell like chocolate. They are a nice aroma, but not something I would be preferring. These, however, the lotion to me smells just like chocolate quick. <laughs> but make sure you keep the kitties away because it doesn't taste like quick and I'm sure it's not good for you. The conditioner is very pleasant. It smells chocolatey, but the shampoo, if I were seven years old, I'd be trying to eat this because this stuff smells good. I'm telling you, I'm going to take all that home and I hope they, they don't get upset with me. Uh, there's ample tiling. It's not the best quality, but it's durable. It's not soft, soft, but it's cool. Um, got some toilet paper and Another roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Spares, I guess, so that they don't have to come in too much. Behind the door, we have a hanger for a robe and uh, we have a hair dryer here in the bag. We have curtains, shower curtains. The tub is not quite large enough. My wife could fit, but I'm a little bit too long for that. We got a water pick shower head and it looks as if we have ourselves Yeah, a clothesline. So if we did want to go down the pool, we can come in here and hang up our wet clothing. And it looks like that screws in and locks into place. And that completes the room tour. Um, this room was not come to me, I paid for it. Um, but uh, check out this wallpaper. <laughs> And those look a little bit like Hershey's Kisses as well. There's a lot of theming here. Subtle, but not so subtle. Here's as if uh, at some point they made an upgrade. They have motion sensors to let the, I guess the heating and cooling know if somebody's in the room or not. Uh, last thing I wanted to show you inside the home where my key the room key goes they give you a hershey lodge map uh, check in check out hours uh early departure fee um 
charge may be assessed after departure after 11 a.m. You gotta be out of the room by 11. Authorized funds not used may take up to 50 business, 10 business days to be released by your associated financial institution. Yeah, they to put a hundred dollar hold on for incidentals. Guest room card or meet spaces pet free. Specialized maintaining a floor free environment. Yes, this is a non smoking room that includes e cigarettes. $350 charge will be assessed for failure to comply. I have an in room safe. Uh, the other thing is, I've purchased a art package. So I get Hershey Gardens complimentary admission for one and Hershey Story complimentary admission for one. So I could do those. Uh, presently, it's COVID, so I'd have to make a reservation in order to do those, but I can get in the park uh, reservation free. I don't have to make a reservation to use my park pass because I am a guest of the resort. Now, that park pass actually includes one day's, uh, from 11 to 7, one day's uh, admission to the park rides, and also a park preview. So today, starting at 4 p.m., which is two minutes ago, I could uh, go over to the park and I can stay until seven for no additional charge. Also, my parking is included. Normally it's $20 a day, but I can use my parking pass. Because I'm a large guest, I don't have to pay additional for parking at uh, Hershey Park. So I get a $20 value twice for parking. I get, uh, oh, about, I wanna say right now, Tickets for entry are about $49 a person. Their cut rate is um, discounted. So I get $100 worth of park visit because I get to go for two days. And then um, also Wi Fi, breakfast in the morning, and uh, this candy bar were included. Um, I want to say on average, I'm paying $100 to $120 more. Uh, for this night then I would have paid staying a little worth further away from the park itself at um, Say somewhere like the Hilton. I'm paying about a hundred hundred twenty dollars more per night so that with this value extra value that I'm getting the Wi-Fi the um, story gardens the parking at the park and the hotel the uh, don't forget the chocolate bar <laughs> and uh, two days admission to the park I would say that's a little bit better than fair exchange. And uh, even though this room is a little dated, it's still very nice and seems to be accommodating. And let's do one more thing. Let's check out. Oh, yeah. The bed's comfy. I'm going to sleep good. <laughs> all right. That's all for this room tour. Thank you, and stay tuned. The next video should be Hershey Park.